Okay, so roughing the, uh, the single drag from Charles Wilcoxon, this is actually a quite difficult solo. Some of you sent me some material and also I checked out some material in the internet and I have to say that there is a lot of mistakes in YouTube for this uh, solo. There is not many people that is playing it properly. This is a swing solo first because it's from the book that it's called Swinging Modern Rudimental Swing Solos Swing Solos Rudimental and Swing So you have to play the rudiments in a swing way but they are the rudiments still So the drag, it's a drag It's not a triple stroke roll which would be this This is not a drag This is a drag Or even more close would be like a Scottish way of playing it More open But not more open than this So you have open Closed And Scottish closed Right? That's it These are the three correct different ways of playing it and there are many millions of not correct ways of playing it which can sound very musical, I don't deny it but it is not a drag and this solo was composed for drag for making the drag rough roughing the single drag in a swing way so we are going to practice in order to get this swing feel that this is the second mistake that I see in many videos uh, you have to have the swing groove in your mind not the metronome necessarily uh, try to avoid the metronome I will explain why in other videos but uh, let's practice the first two bars alternating with swing bars Try that, just two bars, and then try to play the whole solo like you were playing it, without the metronome or with the metronome if you want. Try to play it without, but try to get this feeling. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's quite difficult, but nevertheless you have to play the drags as drags, not as open rolls, which swinging it's more difficult, and with the high cut in 2 and 4 it's more difficult, it is difficult, so don't 
don't play it too slow. If you can, avoid playing it too slow because then it gets too difficult. Really too difficult. And uh, it's not the point of this. The point of this exercise is to catch the groove of the solo. And I'm going to play the solo now as a snare drum solo. accents with a rim shot because I think that for this solo in the ending I imagine Gene Krupa you know dancing you know this is the important part of this phrase the accents and then you have to add the drugs Oh my god. Okay? Right. Imagine Louis Benson. This solo was dedicated to Louis Benson. Imagine Jim Krupa. Okay? So, if you listen to the whole execution I made, you will realize that. This swing is there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ra, ra, tum, ra, tum, da, pa, 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 da, pum, pum, da, pum, pa, 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 pum, pa, pum, da, pum, sa, pum, da, pum, ska, pum, da, pum, ka, pum, bla, bla, bla. Even if I cannot play it right now, the whole solo with the hi hat in two and four, this feeling is there. And if you watch solos from this era, in fact. They are not playing two and four with the hi hat the whole time when they are playing these difficult solos. Not even by the rich, you know. It's not an exercise, uh, a, a coordination exercise. It's a solo. It has to be musical and beautiful, not coordinative or theoretical. So play it without the metronome. Make it swing through your heart, not with the hi-hat, not with the uh, metronome, with your heart, make the length of these notes uh, last as long as they need, don't rush, okay? so much you know have fun with it all right see you on monday <laughs>